whatever it is that you needed back then, whatever that wound comes from that you didn't have, how do you get it now? And how, uh, I, I, I know art is just one of the ways in which you can meet this, but it is a very exciting way for me because of my background, but because of your background too, you're an artist too and you're a musician, I always wanna ask you this question and I probably have asked you before. <laughs> I will probably ask you again, Robin, your music, do you let your music come in and, 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 and help you with your inner child sometimes? Help, help you, you know, heal wounds or? My, yeah, the experience of music, whether I'm playing music alone or with, or with my friends uh, or listening, that's been nursing my inner child and inner baby and inner adolescent all along long before i was aware that that's what was happening you know that's yeah. been um profoundly nourishing to me my whole life um and you were saying and, and in so many ways you know and you were saying what are all the different ways that if what you missed is being picked up how can we be picked up where are the arms that will pick us up? And now I'm an adult and nobody wants to pick me up. Um, well, you can be actually, you know, there are ways. Uh, and people do that. There's wonderful kind of workshops. We would hold each other aloft and, and, and you allow yourself to be, so it's an actually lovely experience. However, you know, maybe that's not available in your life or it's too, you know, you feel uncomfortable with that sort of thing. And, um, what are all the ways in which the experience of feeling picked up um, can really happen for you? Um, all the different pickup experiences. And I can share with you a thousand of moments that I've been lucky enough to have where I'm, I'm playing music with the guys in my band and there are these magic moments where one of us is playing a solo or another another one of the guys is playing a solo and we're all looking at each other and th it's meaningless because there is no meaning and what happens is um it's really like wow i love you what's coming out from you right now wow <laughs> and 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 um, uh, that picks me up. It, it, it picks me up and, and, and carries me way up here someplace. And picking up isn't only about the human arms. The arms are just one gorgeous way in which that can happen. It ain't the only thing. Um, They're the power of metaphors and yeah. Uh, and uh, it's palpable. Is, is, is it a metaphor? It is, but it's more than that because it's, it's, it's such a concrete and palpable experience where the, the vibration of music and the intention that it brings from the other person um, carries you. And it, when the world is horrible, and, 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 and somehow you, you carried above the horror. And, okay. That, that's it's a transpersonal and, and, experience. You, you, yes, you are using the music to transcend. So the music that goes there as a metaphor to start, yeah, then yeah. But, but it does have a, 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 an effect that is, is, is spiritual and physical at the same time, because you yeah. do feel carried. Yes. It's not, it's no less a language of interpersonal contact and interpersonal impact then your hands and your arms are yes uh, in fact sometimes you could argue that music can do things that the, that hands can't directly do you know and, um so i guess the the essential purpose of our com this this moment in our conversation is there are so many ways the, the, the nourishment, the developmental nutrient, as I like to call it, yes. has an abundance of, like an infinite abundance of possible manifestations. Um, so it requires a little bit of imagination sometimes. Yeah, but, but there's, 
there's a trillion ways to make a salad. <laughs>